Hello, KM4FMI here. I am here at my local park and I'm operating portable and I thought I would uh, try to record some of this just in case it's interesting to anybody else. But this is my local park. I, my car is right over here and I've got a book bag with my batteries and my radio and a wire an vertical antenna. Uh, and I'm uh, go going to walk over there and set up and throw up into one of those trees and try this vertical antenna out. So I uh, thought I would bring you guys along. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try 20 meters today uh, maybe 17. I've got a vertical wire cut for both of the both of those lengths, and so we'll see how it goes. This is my attempt at explaining my quarter wave ground plane antenna. So all I'm using is this connector and wire, and so what I'm doing is I am cutting and connecting a quarter. Um, forgive me, I'm not an artist. Uh, a quarter wave length of wire and then I'm connecting four radials that are all equally spaced and so in the case of 20 meters I'm using a 17 foot wire which is a quarter wave length plus a little bit and I also have a wire cut for 17 meters and I forget what that uh, what that measurement is and then I'm just using 10 foot radials here as a ground plane radials counterpoises not sure what the right word is that's essentially my setup i'm trying to keep it as basic as possible and it is super lightweight the kite winder that i'm using it actually weighs more than the wire itself and i could use even skinnier wire but i'm look, shooting for something as economical as possible all right this is the first step I borrowed this from Cliff uh, from the YouTube channel QRP School and so I've got a golf ball here with an eyelet through it and then I just have this kite string that I bought off of Amazon and what I'm going to do is toss it over that tree and that allow me to pull my the uh, radiating element for my antenna up in, uh, into the tree. So step one is complete. Uh, it is hanging from the branch right there and then just uh, over the tree branch now. I uh, got it on the first try. It doesn't always work like that. But for some reason, it always uh, starts clouding up as soon as I get started. But there's a glimmer of hope right there. Rays of sunshine headed my way. Two is the vertical antenna. The yellow wire here are the radio. Um, I'm sorry. The that is the ground plane, the the radials or counterpoises, and then there's two black wires on there, one for 20 meters and one for 17 meters. So I'm going to get this unraveled from the kite string, which makes it a lot easier to manage and really easy to deal with, and get it pulled up in the tree. But I normally bring my Nano VNA um, and analyze the SWR. Right now it's looking like it's about 1.32. Um, generally my radio reports better results than this does. Um, and I normally just adjust the height of the ground plane until I get it just about right. It appears that like being almost, almost but not quite on the ground gives me the best results. And this is one of the reasons why I love operating portable. At my house, I've got a, a noise floor of about S7, uh, S5 to S7, often S7. And here it's a, a S2, um, S1, S2. So that's awesome. Uh, it's a great start. So I've got this battery plugged in, and that's what's powering the radio. And I have my backup laptop right there next to me. Um, I plug that in in parallel to my headphones, and I try not to look at it during a QSO, but if I do end up missing some, then I have something to glance at so that it doesn't ruin the Q QSO while I'm learning. And there's the FT8, and there is a couple strong signals. So I'm going to go start scanning around and listening to those. Here. So the FT891 does not update the spectrum display. So if all the signals have that kind of signal to noise ratio, this should be really easy to copy them. So let me get started trying to 
hunt and find somebody to talk to. All right, so I have to get a better setup because he is in the middle of sending me stuff in my ears because I've got headphones, but this is uh, WM5B uh, from Madison, Alabama, five miles from me. And so uh, I'm gonna finish this QSO and then try to get it one more in, but I'm getting cold. So uh, great antenna test, he's super strong. I caught, gave him five nine, but he's over, over, over nine. He hits 20 sometimes. And that's about where my SWR is when I transmit. It's almost SWR so low, it barely shows up too. I love this antenna. All right, I just finished my second QSO, and this is definitely going to be my last one for the day because I am freezing. This was with uh, uh, Dennis, uh, K6DF, um, from Fremont, California. I'm not sure exactly how far that is away, but probably like 2,000 miles, so that's awesome. Um, thank you, Dennis, if I end up sending you this video. Um, so just to explain, I am freezing. Uh, I've got these gloves on, but I am just shivering and uh, need to use the restroom, and my battery was beeping. <laughs> so uh, quite a chaotic uh, QSO on my side, and so sorry for all the typos and stuff. Um, I knew you had to go to lunch, and, uh, I was, and uh, so sorry for the quick wrap-up. Wrap up. But thanks again, Dennis. I appreciate it. So this is how I was uh, doing when I was playing. I'm all bundled up. I'm going to take that off. So uh, let me stand up. So, uh, so that was my setup. I have this rain jacket that I had on there because the whole the whole time it was threatening to, it was threatening to rain. As an experiment, the vertical antenna once again did great. Uh, made the contact uh, local contact five miles away, and then uh, another one, um, Fremont, California. So that's super awesome. I, I love going portable because I love the the low noise floor, an S uh, S2 or something or S1 this time and I'm able to pick up signals uh, pretty low, and so I love that. Uh, the experiment with the batteries, uh, only so-so. Uh, I drained both of them, uh, one on one QSO and one on the other. On the second one, I bumped it up to 50 watts because I wasn't sure what was happening and I thought he couldn't hear me. So, but anyway, I am freezing. I'm gonna say 73s for now. Thanks for watching. Um, it's been another fun uh, afternoon at the park with the radios, it's just a little bit too cold. So, thanks for watching. Hello, KMF. Blah.